So I'm going to go ahead and get started because there is a lot to cover today that I want to uh, get in, involved with. And uh, I know that there's another class coming in right behind this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I've written a resource website. is sites.google.com slash site slash LFS math diff. That is where I'm going to have all of the resources that you will be looking at, the print copies today. I have all of those resources loaded up to this website so that you can go and download them. It's about probably 150 pages worth of materials, so I did not want to give everyone their own copy, if you can understand why. Um, but all of that is up there for you to use. Most, most of this information is things that I have created within the last year and um, have done in my own classroom. I teach sixth grade math up at Palmer Middle School right up the street here in Kennesaw. Uh, so is, this is stuff that has worked for me and I felt like it was a good thing to share. Um, also, I put my email address up there, jeremy.clark at cobbk12.org. So if you have any questions after the, web, uh, after the seminar, if you want to email me, there's my email address. And then also I will be checking the discussion forums that uh, the conference has set up on the greatideasconference.com. So just give you those resources there. All right, so our essential question that we want to look at today, I actually pulled, I'm going to tell you where I got this. This is the old um, differentiated assignments and instructions book that's put out by the Learning Focused. Uh, the new one is uh, for sale in the bookstore. If you want to swing by and pick that up, I think it's $35. They do two different resources. One of them is for... Uh, 612 and the other one is for K5 so depending on what level you are at that's you can purchase both of them purchase one of them or whatever your suits you best so we're going to look at how can I meet my students learning needs in a heterogeneous classroom when they are so diverse and have such a variety of abilities and talents that's what we're going to focus on today so all of you have this question you know you have all these different students some of them are reading on a third grade level. Some of them are reading on a sixth grade level. Some of them are even above and into high school. So how do you have students that are gifted in one class with the same students that are needing special needs, that are special ed? And I actually have that this year. I have students that qualify for gifted services in the same class that I have my co-taught special ed class. So it is a wide variety, and you can understand why I've had to actually dig down and develop some of this information. All right, so if you're not familiar with a quick write strategy, quick write is you take two minutes, write whatever you can think of, first thing that comes to your mind. So I want you to take a moment and do a quick write. How do you define differentiation? Okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes to go through that. How do you define differentiation? And the slides are on page uh, 157 if you want to use those to make your notes. Finished. So take a moment and share. Most of you have four people at a table. Take a moment and share it with your table. How do you define differentiation? So just kind of share with the people sitting at your table and sitting around you. Who would like to share? What is your definition in your own words? What, how do you define differentiation? Juggling. Juggling. Okay, that's a good, can you want to elaborate on that? Okay, a strategy used to, help me out here, let me repeat it. The strategy used to offer a variety of teaching methods to meet the uh, needs of diverse learners, right? Okay, did everyone have something similar to that or something different than that they want to add to? Making instruction personal. I like that one. Allowing for difference by bringing the curriculum to the child. Okay, allowing for difference, but to make, uh, bring the curriculum to the child. Okay, so making it personal, making it individual, specifically for that child. Okay, anyone else? Yes? Okay, choice, interest, and ability. I like that. Just to give you an idea of what some of our famous educational superstars say. I pulled the Webster Dictionary and it says to make unlike to develop specialized differences. So I heard that quite a bit. 
Um, Gail Gregory says, a philosophy which enables teachers to plan strategically in order to reach abilities and needs of diverse learners in today's classroom. Again, we see that word, uh, abilities, needs, diverse learners, so those are coming up quite often. Uh, Theodore Sizer says, students' differences may be an inconvenience, but adapting to diversity in, uh, is the inevitable price for productivity, high standards, and fairness to the students. And then our fa uh, last one is the famous Caroline Tomla uh, Tomlinson, shaking up what goes on in the classroom so that the curriculum is a better fit for all. Okay, so you, pr you pretty much know what differentiation is. It's meeting the needs of those diverse learners, and like I said earlier, where you have maybe special needs in one class with the same students that are gifted and talented. That is a broad gap. So how do you do the same content whenever you have a wide variety like that? So take a moment and just kind of think to yourself, how would you rate yourself on differentiation? Would you consider yourself a beginner just starting out, getting your feet wet, would you say you're still learning what it is, emerging, proficient, or that you're an expert and you do differentiation every day in your classroom with no problem? So by a show of hands, how many experts do we have? Awesome, that's what I expected to see. I know I'm teaching this class, but I do not consider myself an expert at differentiation. We can always learn new strategies and new teaching techniques in order to reach those diverse learners. What about proficient? How many of you would say you're proficient at differentiating? Okay. Any emerging? Maybe you do it two, three times a month, or two or three times a unit, four times a unit. Still learning? And beginners? Okay, so most of you have rated yourselves right within the still learning and emerging section, so that's good. Um, I try to do differentiating in my unit at least four to six times within, within a unit of, of study. So within two weeks, I try to find something, whether it's homework, uh, quizzes, uh, performance tasks, something that I differentiate. So you'll see some examples that I've used.